Hey guys, it's Tugle again with another video and uh, this time I've got more of a tutorial for you guys because a lot of people has been asking me about how to flash a custom ROM onto your phone. So stay tuned for that. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to get the zip file because, uh, well, it's basically the same step for any ROM which you want to have, maybe on the S3, on the Nexus 5, or on the Z3, or any other phone. First of all, you need a few things. First of all, your device should be rooted, your device should, be, should have a custom uh, recovery installed. So that, I'm going to skip in uh, doing that one because I'm going to assume you guys already have those. So yeah, now this time I'm going to give you guys an insight on how I do my ROM reviews and how I flash my ROMs because I feel that in this way you can be sure that the uh, file is not corrupted because a lot of times uh, the problem with boot loops is mainly because the file you downloaded is corrupted so I normally do a few steps to avoid that so basically that is it. Let's get started. Now I'll be showing you guys how to get the Chroma ROM which uh, recently had a new release here so it is on Marshmallow right now it is for the Nexus 5 ROM and uh, there are methods to confirm this ROM is for your device so that uh, you won't screw up that so yeah so let's get to this stuff now uh, this is a normal page this is the XTA page this is where you get most of the ROMs which I review at least because well XTA developers is the prime spot for getting custom ROMs so that is just a given so yeah that's pretty cool so now first things first you need to get the files which is the zip file for the ROM so yeah let's get started now you can see all this text is there and somewhere in this forum post there will be a download link you need to check for that like in this ROM in this forum you can see you can see uh, download chroma 24 uh, this is the latest version so you need to get that I'm opening that in a new link and gapps means the ROM does not come with a gapp so you do need to install that also and being Android M you may have to download these separately now I'll be showing you guys how to get the ROM now first of all you can see this uh, the uh, this link gave me a uh, link to this post which does give uh, it, which has a lot of stuff now first of all it does have a change log you, you can go through the change log and all that so yeah it is a chroma change log it will go into the change log and it will show you guys what are the changes donate to the developer G apps and now download i'll be going for the download option which will give me android file host website which hosts the files now it has actually taken me directly to the file which i need to so some a way, few ways to check this is uh, that uh, for the google nexus 5 so you are going to get this onto the nexus 5 the file size is normally between 190 and uh, well it can go up to 1 gig because uh, stock ROMs are notoriously large it's about 500 600 megs now this is about uh, 200 megs which is uh, normal for a custom ROM without GApps with GApps it will be about 200 plus about 400 megs so yeah now from this website it is easy you just need to click begin download there are other websites like Mediafire, Mega all of that are there and it's that's just a simple case of just clicking the download button and downloading the file now I am not going uh, this download is going to take a lot of time so I'm just going to tell you guys how to make sure the, the zip file you got is the correct one and is not corrupted so you can also download the gapps file from here uh, right now uh, sometimes the link will give you this uh, address and then you need to go into whatever you need so you have to check what you have so yeah so guys after you have downloaded the rom you have this on your folder i use idm for downloads so i have it inside the compressed folder so yeah i'm going to show you guys uh, something like uh, this thing okay cataclysm rom i have recently downloaded that it is working so once you download the rom you have to check if it's corrupted or not i personally do this using 7zip i have 7zip installed in the 7zip menu there's an option for test archive it will run through a test it will extract everything and see if the download is corrupted or not so that you are not stuck with a boot loop issue so that is something which i make sure before i flash in your rom so yeah 
So as you can see, the test was successful. There are no errors. So that means the file which I downloaded is correct. So there is no problems. Now, ways to make sure that this is for your device. You can see Hammerhead in the name file. So you can actually have that. And inside the file, there will be few things which are common in every ROM. There will be a boot, which is your uh, kernel files. There will be meta.inf, which is a script file, and there will be system or uh, all of these things. These are extras which will be available or not in your particular ROM, but there will be systems which you will, which will have a few op uh, applications and all that installed, which is your system application. So that is really cool. So let me sh uh, let me show you guys uh, inside the meta.in file in the com, Google, Android. And it does have an aroma installer, so that is why it is in this file, in this format. If it's not an aroma installer, aroma files will be uh, missing. Only uh, these and this will be available. These files will not be available. So yeah, in the updated or script file, you can actually open this. And I personally use Notepad++ to see these files and open it. It will show you guys what device is. That is getprop our product device, which is Hammerhead. That means it is made for my device. So this is a pretty surefire way of knowing if it is available, it is for your device or not. If it's something else, it will show uh, Mako, which is Nexus 4. Um, uh, M0 means it's uh, Galaxy S3. So you can actually make sure about that. So yeah, that is something which I personally do. I'm not really sh uh, saying that you should do, but uh, it is a way that I make sure that my, de my device is not going to be bricked. Let me show you guys in the S3, you can see there is boot. There is system, there is metainf, in the metainf option, there is in com, google, android in the updated script option. You can you can probably see that it is for M0, that means it is for the S3. And uh, there are uh, sometimes available with uh, other device names also like the i9300, GT i9300 means it's the S3 ROM and all that is available. So that is really, really cool. So that is a way you can uh, make sure that this ROM you have downloaded is for your device or not. So once you make sure the ROM uh, zip file is for your device, you need to copy the files to your device so that you can flash them. So I have just connected my Nexus 5 uh, and then just copy, go to your file, go to the internal storage. Well, uh, Nexus 5 only has uh, the internal storage. Rather than uh, external storage, if, you, if your device supports external storage like my Z3 or the S3, you will have another folder here where you can also copy and paste it. So yeah, that's really cool. You just need to paste it. I have already pasted my file and it is available here. So yeah, just install that. Just paste that here and then you can head for the next step, which is actual flashing. So guys, I just told you guys how to get a ROM into the uh, phone. Now is the actual flashing process. Now in this, you have a few options. Now first of all, I'm just going to uh, show you guys on the Nexus 5 and the S3 how to flash the stuff because uh, there are a few differences, the uh, re really slight differences which I will be able to show in this video. So yeah. Uh, first thing what you have to do is get into the recovery and every device has a different method to get into the recovery menu which for the nexus it is to hold the both the volume buttons and uh, press the power button and it should get into the recovery which is the bootloader screen and then from here you can actually get to the recovery mode and that is it and here we have the recovery menu which is the holy grail and this this okay you better believe this this is going to save your ass some fine day because this is really really important so yeah now once you have the recovery fired up first thing you need to do is take a backup because anything can go wrong and if anything goes wrong you don't have anything else to turn to take a backup uh, b take backup of everything not just uh, system data and boot take also the backup of EFS partition because a lot of stuff can go wrong and I don't take any chances during it. So you can also check uh, the uh, internal storage and if you have a USB drive and a OTG cable, you can actually use the OTG to save the backup to the uh, USB drive rather than your phone memory. So you will be saved with a few stuff there. So yeah. After you have taken the backup, you can check if your backup is available here. Uh, I haven't actually taken the backup because I have a backup on my USB drive. I don't actually use it, use the phone storage for the backup. So yeah, in any case, you can actually have that. Once once you have the backup, you can actually check. If there will be a line here, so you can have you have to basically 
check if the restore point has been created or not just in case so yeah now comes the flashing process now first of all what you need to do is wipe your device i personally do an advanced wipe with everything dalby cache system and data wipe because basically uh, just uh, doing a factory reset will not wipe the system settings because system is actually a ROM specific one in the advanced wipe dalby cache is wiped which is a normal wipe process you don't need to do anything about that system wipe is the one which you need to do when you're flashing a new ROM because uh, it will clear out the system profile system file and make room for the new uh, ROMs system folder which uh, which contains all the essential apps in it so I personally do this way you can also uh, clear the data data is the ones you have downloaded the downloaded applications uh, your um, real, real data which is uh, contacts SMS all of that will be wiped from here so you need to wipe that because that is just something you need to do when upgrading from a previous ROM to a newer version of the same ROM it is generally given that you don't need to wipe so basically if you don't wipe it you if you just install the rom it will overwrite the system files and being identical it will not cause any problems and your data is still there so that is the thing behind dirty flash which is just flashing without wipe so that is it so that's really something which you need to know now i'm going to wipe it because i am going to tell you guys how to flash a new rom so uh, swipe to wipe and everything will be wiped now so it is wiped and uh, there is nothing else on this rom uh, the phone does not even have a rom right now so that is something you, which you need to keep in mind do not reboot because it will go into a re uh, into a boot loop uh, because it will not be able to get any uh, rom fired up so just in case you need to understand that so yeah now flashing the rom flashing the rom is pretty simple it's really really simple yeah just you need to go to the uh, location you have copied the files to i have copied it to the internal storage directly so that it, i don't have anything else to do and understand fi find the file you need to so this is the file which i just copied uh, this this one does have an aroma install i'm just going to show you the install i'm not going to install this rom right now uh, so yes yeah i'm going to show you guys how to do this in the aroma installer you have seen it is starting the aroma installer you can select next you can agree to everything all that all that next and you can choose what all stuff you need to install in this rom specifically it's an aroma installer so it's not going to be how it is in the normal setting so clicking install now will flash the rom to your device so you will be stuck with it i'm going to quit the installer and show you guys something else now sometimes sometimes very rarely there are a few roms which requires you to unmount the system folder yourself rather than unmounting it your uh, unmounting it for you so in that case you you may not understand this but um, one rom which was the extra smooth rom uh, required me to unmount the system myself so just click here unmount these i normally unmount everything and then go back install install the uh, install the rom from here and i'm going to show you guys what it will show if you haven't unmounted uh, this is the rom which i was talking about if you flash this it will try to flash it but it will fail as you as i will tell you guys now so as you can see the uh, install has failed that is because it was trying to extract data into the system partition but it was it failed to do that that is because i haven't manually unmount the system normally this instruction is given in the forum post just read the forum post and you'll be good to go with that but in case you don't you have gotten the rom from some i don't know uh, chinese website which i would say you shouldn't because without reading the instruction do not flash the rom but if you still want to flash the rom and are taking all the risk you need to do and uh, are, do not mind a broken device you can actually go ahead and unmount the system application system data I'm, i normally unmount everything because uh, why shouldn't i and you can actually go for the rom installation now and it should technically work because this the system is unmounted now and it can be written onto so yeah so as you can see this is the boot uh, the flashing was successful this time because i have unmounted my system partition manually so yeah that is done now you can just reboot the device now and it will ask if uh, super sue is not installed that is why i like team in recovery project a lot because it will detect if an os is not installed or if a uh, 
uh, the super su script is not installed and ask you if you if you want the recovery to flash the file or not so i normally select no but it's nice to know that it doesn't have super su installed so that is really cool so that is how you flash a rom in the team win recovery project and uh one more thing you need to know is that rebooting uh if you reboot right now it will re it will boot into the rom uh and um, it is going to take some time and you need to uh, understand this it will it is going to take a hell of a lot of time at least wait for about 10 to 15 minutes be sure that you have enough battery power to last at least 10 to 15 minutes because it can take that long if the rom is that big so yeah just a, a heads up for you guys so what's the difference in the s3 now in the s3 the team win recovery project which i have installed is a quite it's a bit older version so yeah that's there and in the mount option you do have a few extra stuff like you can mount efs you can mount uh, unmount all of this and it also has a mount usb storage options now in case you realize mid flashing that your zip file was corrupted and you you have already cleared the system apps and uh, you do not have a an ability to use the um, you have no other zip files on your phone you have to, you have to flash something so in that case you can mount the USB drive connect your USB uh, to your computer and still use the uh, the SD card as a pass through and uh, put files into a S3 card so that you can flash something so that is something which I wanted to talk about in the S3 uh, because of the USB because of the external SD card so that is something which I really appreciate um, in the install menus everything is same uh, as you can see there are two options here so you can actually have internal op internal storage or uh, the uh, micro SD card which is the external storage also enabled so yeah that's something which is great so i guess that much is it about the uh flashing guide uh, i hope this one does explain to you guys how a flashing to be should be done i'm just going i i, I know that i have given you a bit of tips and tricks more uh, than uh, it is required so you can actually follow them or don't uh, it's your it's your uh, this thing so if you don't want to hey don't so yeah I guess I much I said about this video. I hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. Uh, and uh, see you guys next time. Happy flashing.